based on the lecture you have given on caste and things, I want, uh, there is certain institutional practice in ho some of the hostels in IIT Bombay, which I was always witness of, where uh, there is a section of mess always allotted to a uh, vegetarian, pure vegetarian section, where people who eat meat, it's a part of the general mess, some tables are allotted as well. Uh, uh, Jain food and vegetarian, pure vegetarian food, where some people enter are fined also if you eat meat and something. So when you mention or talk of caste as a as a one level of polluting as an idea, caste also perpetrates in addition to all the superiority and economic interest, it also creates an idea of polluting on untouchables and different social categories. This is one. And also in one of the exclusionary ideas you mentioned, exclusion cannot be per se called as exclusion unless it is a denial of equal rights. So per se when I, I, I was just through your lecture, I was thinking of this. When per se you look at it, it's a idea of pollution which is being perpetrated when you sit with another person who eat meat, I'll be polluted or somewhere. So you have to be avoided. So institution is also giving certain mechanism to properly manage certain tables in every hostel to uh, use them. This is one. But per se if you see, are they denying equal right of everyone? They are also having some other common areas to sit. Per se they are saying only certain places not to sit. Is it polluting or is it? So in that context, can we address or can we call certain exclusionary measures can exist in higher education or all exclusions are still? So this is my uh, kind of the vegetarianism and non-vegetarianism it is an issue of course certainly an issue it may be religious it may not be religious my my response to your question would be that it's also a matter of uh, that some of those who do not like non-vegetarian uh, vegetarian food they do not like to sit with them uh, this is a this is this is the thought and thinking and the vision. Well, they have the right not to sit, you know, because they're, they're. But my my suggestion is my feeling is why do the institute should be adopt a policy of creating a separate arrangement? There are several students who, for whatever reason they would not like to several food habit or sit here or there or whatever they do, do not enjoy that. So they can sit separately on their own, uh, there is no problem. But the institution as a matter of policy cannot have a separate table for non-vegetarian and separate table for vegetarian. That is promoting. I don't think so. We sh you should not do that. That is allowing segregation on the basis of vegetarianism. But at the same time, we respect the individual right and individual choices that somebody do not want to sit with the person who eat meat and he is uncomfortable, he can go and sit separately. But he should not develop prejudice against them. That is also there. The, you talk about pollution, but there is a pollution. The, it may not be necessarily pollution, but it is a prejudice. That prejudice, uh, you get psychologically disturbed, but you also develop prejudice against others. So that should not happen. There are food habits. You don't like it, others like it. Respect it and behave the way you feel comfortable.